welcome back to my channel it's Alexi and today's video is going to be a Uncle Funky's daughter demo and review I asked you guys on my Instagram story if you prefer me to do the curls cashmere caviar collection first or the UFD first and it was pretty much half and half so we are doing the Uncle Funky's daughter um, ultimate kinky and curly hair care travel kit review I got this at Target for the low low price of ten dollars I'm just so happy about that and this comes with five items in the pro in the little baggie sample sizes for you to try on your hair and see how you feel about it before you go ahead and make the big purchase which I'm here to demo and show you guys how all five of these well four out of the five performed on my head um, so let's get into the video no need for long talking you guys can see how my hair looks it probably looks the same to you guys it because it damn near looks the same to me like it probably it just feels a little bit different but it probably looks the same to you guys I, I see a little bit of difference but it ain't nothing too 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 crazy the first thing I did was wash and condition my hair off camera and I sectioned my hair off into four sections to try these products out on different sections of my hair and you will see it in the clips I'm gonna show you guys right now and basically on this back right section my back right section of my hair I use the leave-in conditioner which is a spray conditioner it's for natural chemically treated or heat styled hair it's a two ounce container and it is supposed to leave your hair gorgeous with our hydrating leave-in it strengthens dry brittle strands providing easier comb out that's a lie um well i'm not gonna be so harsh that did not work for me this product did not have any slip whatsoever you guys know i prefer thick creamy leave-ins but i do have a two or three leave-ins or a spray base that i actually really like that actually did soften up my hair quite a bit and this is not one of them the first few ingredients are water glycerin aloe and it's just like and some oils it was just not for me it did not detangle my hair any way shape or form but I did use it on each section so there's this leave-in as first it's a no and then I went ahead and put on this back right section bottom section right here <laughs> the super curl miracle moisture cream this is supposed to hydrate detangle define and add moisture to dry curls and it's, it's pretty like self-explanatory. The first three ingredients are water, soybean oil, glycerin, coconut oil. And it really does have a nice smell. This is also a two ounce, I think it's two ounces. I'm not 100% sure to be honest guys. So don't quote me on that. It smells very sweet and good. No complaints with the smell whatsoever. And I actually was able to detangle my hair with this over the leave-in. I put it in the back and all throughout here and it was very softening and it definitely did detangle my hair. This also did define my curls. So you could put it under a gel for a wash and go or you know as a base for your wash and go. I did feel like it defined my curls quite a bit. The only thing I will say is that it was not as moisturizing as I hoped it would be but it definitely if I had a nice thick leave-in it probably would be perfect so it is a moisture cream and I definitely feel like it defined my curls so then on the top right section I put the super curl and then I topped it off with their gel and it's called the curly magic curl stimulator for curly kinky and wavy textures it is supposed to Flex your curl muscle naturally with our aloe-based firm hold curl enhancing gel. Tames frizz while defining, elongating, and nourishing curls. So this product did define my curls. I was like, whoa, it did define my type four curls as I was combing it and brushing it through the sections. But it's not a firm hold. This feels like a flax gel. The ingredients are aloe vera, juice marshmallow extract chamomile uh little nettle horsetail vitamin e but it has the texture like a light 
cold flaxseed gel would have and it gave my hair basically virtually no hold. If you look at the front of my hair and back here, there virtually is no difference. Um, it's not more defined and when I began to untwist it, there was no difference. This feels and looks the same to me y'all comment down below and let me know so this gel i would have to pass on because i don't feel like it gave me any type of extra hold than the super curl i have no complaints it definitely just smoothed my hair down like crazy and if you do wash and goes i actually might wash and go wash and go my hair with this gel because it definitely did define my curls and it definitely did get my hair really really smooth and sleek but in terms of look and hold, there really is like almost no difference. This front section feels a little, like a tad bit crunchier. And I use that word loosely um, than the back, but all of my hair feels soft. Like it's not like it's a gel-like hold for me in any way, shape, or form. I could see this giving you a pop and wash and go though. If you have finer hair, even my hair, it did define my thick high porosity type four curls. But I would not buy this with the use of the, uh, putting a twist out and making my twist outs last longer because it looks the exact same as the non gelled up section. So next we have the extra butter and the extra butter is brilliant shine cream for kinky and curly textures this is supposed to hydrate protect detangle and add shine to kinky curls let's see the first couple ingredients are water coconut oil glycerin palm kernel oil shea butter these products all smell really good they all have good ingredients so i put the extra butter back here in this back section um, by itself over the top of the regular leave-in and it smoothed and softened up my hair like for real like right now the back sections feel virtually the exact same i'm not even gonna lie but as i was styling my hair the extra butter definitely softened up my hair faster detangled my hair faster and had my hair feeling smoother than the super curl so i put that back here and i twisted up my hair into like little like you know medium to small size twist then on the top section top left my top left i think your top right um, I used the extra butter and I topped it off with the same gel that I used on this side. And there is no difference between this back section and this top section. And y'all can see it. Like, and when I began to unravel my hair, there was no difference between back here because up here has gel and you can't really even tell. I'm a rapper, y'all. But back here, Looks the same. Now between the super curl and the extra butter, which one would I recommend? It depends on your needs. If you want a more defined look, if you want to put your hair into a wash and go or you know a braid or a twist out, the super curl does seem to have a smidge. And I say a smidge because to me it really is a smidge. It seems to have a smidge more definition going on than the other side but you guys definitely comment let me know and you guys can make the choice for yourself which one you think looks better which one you think suits your needs more the extra butter was softening more softening than the super curl and it does have my hair feeling mad moisturized but right now like i said all of my hair feels quite the same i'm not even gonna lie the front does not feel more crunched than the back it don't feel, it don't feel or look more defined in the back. So yeah, guys, I mean, <laughs> the products perform differently as I was applying them, but it pretty much looks uniform all around, which is kind of odd, but it looks, it looks uniform. Then the last thing that I sprayed onto my hair before I began to section it off to keep it soft and moisturized was Thirsty Curls Leave-In Curl Revitalizer. And this is for kinky, curly, wavy textures. It's supposed to tame your curls gone wild with our lightweight revitalizing mist. Hydrates, conditions, and preserves moisture in frizzy, fallen curls. Ah. This did not soften up my hair, and I did not feel any extra moisture. It's supposed to like just help preserve your style though, so. If you, yeah, I can't really review that for this particular style. 
I used it as like a leave-in with the regular leave-in just to keep my hair moisturized while I styled it and my hair did not feel good. It did not feel soft. It did not feel like I put anything extra in there after my deep treatment. So I would not recommend either of these products personally. So now with the gel and the super curl and the extra butter. So Lexi, <laughs> what should I spend my coins on? I'm not sure of the prices. I know that this little small kit was $10. Well, it was actually priced at 20 and on sale for 10. So I'm guessing if you're making a small bag full of samples, 20 bucks, the actual full size items are probably quite pricey. So would I go out here and say buy the curl magic, curly magic? If you want a pop and wash and go, I can see this doing that for you because my curls were defined, girl. But I'm not going to go and say like, oh, yes, you need this in your arsenal. You need this for pop and wash and go. I won't say that for you guys. If you want me to try it out on a wash and go, comment down below and let me know and I will make it happen. This doesn't have any kind of hole that I would like reach for and try again for my popping braids and twist outs. Extra butter or super curl. That's, I usually hate to say like, it's up to you, whatever you need, but really in this video today, it is up to you. My hair is moisturized. My hair had like an immense amount of shine. But this side is more moisturized, the side with the extra butter, than the super curl. The extra butter is more moisturizing to me and my high porosity type 4 hair than the super curl side. Um, for sure, hands down, more moisturized. This side, super curl, is a smidge more defined. So it's up to you and what you prefer. The last thing that I will say before I get on up out of here is that my hair has like a um residue so it keeps leaving residue on my hands and not like an oily residue i'm used to the oily oil slick residue it's more like a tacky residue and i'm not sure if it's the suit if it's the gel or the super curl or the extra butter because when i took my hair out from back here it still has that like tacky feeling back here Curls popping ton, okay? It's making my hands a little bit tacky and I don't like that. If I want some moisture, I will bring out the extra butter though, don't get me wrong. But my hair definitely has a little bit of some a filmy residue on it that's leaving my hair a little bit tacky. If you want your man or your girl to rub their fingers through your hair, they may or may not leave their finger with a little bit of residue on it. I'm just gonna let y'all know because you know over here, we cross all bases, we cover all bases, we keep it all 100. So that's what I experienced with these products. And that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you guys are enjoying my new quality up gray because we are out here trying to grow, flourish, shine, inspire. What else? What else? Okay, we are trying to like really bring out the best content that I can physically achieve, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are loving the content. I hope that you're appreciating me being me 100% all the time, and I hope that it's enjoyable for you guys. If you're new here, subscribe. My hands are dead ass, like tacky. I don't like that. And my hair is dry, like it's not wet no more. Don't like that, don't like that. Oh no. So purchase at your own discretion to fit your needs. That's the review today. And I will see you in my next review, which is going to be on the Cashmere Collection, Cashmere Caviar Collection by Curls. That'll be my next review. And I will also be doing a makeup tutorial on this look and a chit chat, get ready with me. I will see you later. I love you all so freaking much and I appreciate you guys more than you probably know. Give me a thumbs up, it helps my video be seen and circulate and helps me grow. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye guys.